Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and it's 4.40 p.m., and it's Friday, February 28th, 2020. Anyway, about a week ago, I went to the Circle K gas station by my work, and um, they had these drinks for a while, I just never got them to review, you know? But um, I decided to get them, you know, because they only had one can of this flavor left, and I had a few more of the other flavor, but um, they were buy one, get one free, you know? So, you know, I got both flavors for the price of one. But Circle K is like a, an expensive gas station. Their drinks are like $2 and something each normally. Well, the Monsters are like two sixty nine dollars before tax, so almost $3 for one can. And at Walmart, they're like $1.88, so almost $2 for one can, so you know. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the Mango Passion Fruit, your base sparkling water. Aw, oh, yeah, boys. Aw, oh, yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. Anyway, why I'm doing this as an energy drink review is because, look, it has 125 milligrams of caffeine. So this will get you a little lit, you know, just saying. Anyway, it has a sore top of the sore tab. The bomb's the um, production code. Your base, sparkling water, mango passion fruit, and it shows a mango and a passion fruit. Some leaves and stuff, and it shows a frog. Yerba mate, 2 grams sugar, 10 calories, 125 milligrams of caffeine, non-GMO. 16 fluid ounces, 473 milliliters. This is the last can they had of this flavor, and it's a little dented and stuff. The paint scraped up a little bit at the bottom, you know, but you know what I mean? Anyway. Shame, um, Yerba Mate, it says, around the top, 125 milligrams caffeine. Okay, shamelessly proud of our outstanding non-GMO ingredients. It has the ingredients, it has, um, non-GMO sugar and stuff. Kick it up, 125 milligrams caffeine equals one and one fourth cups of coffee. Clean, simple, delicious. Enhance your sparkling water experience made with a hint of sweetness and a kick of caffeine. Your bay gives you everything you need and nothing you don't. Great taste, refreshing. No artificial sweeteners, clean ingredients. Who knew H2O could be so good? Has a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube logos. Follow us at drinkyourbay, www.yourbay.com. Has the SKU manufactured for your Bay LLC, Scottsdale, Arizona. Some other code in the Ardog Group logo, U and please recycle. Okay, nutrition facts, serving size 16 fluid ounces, 473 milliliters, servings per container one, amount per serving calories 10. Total fat zero grams, zero percent saturated fat, zero grams, zero percent trans fat, zero grams. Cholesterol zero milligrams, zero percent sodium, zero milligrams, zero percent. Total carbohydrates three grams, one percent, dietary fibers, zero grams, zero percent. Sugars, 2 grams, 4%. Protein, 0 grams, 0%. Vitamin A, 0%. Calcium, 0%. Vitamin C, 0%. Iron, 0%. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole can. So I'll let you see it right quick. And I don't know if these are being discontinued or what. Because um, this is the last can they had of this flavor at that Circle K. They had some other cans of the other flavor, which I'm going to be reviewing in my next review. But um, all the cans are like, buy one, get one free. So I don't know if they're, like, getting rid of them or what. Do you know what I mean? Anyway. Okay. It's windy outside. So it tops a little bit hard to see. I hear a train. Okay, here's some nutrition facts. That's pretty much the whole can. So this contains 125 milligrams of caffeine per 16 foot ounces. But anyway, yeah, anyway, I'm going to shake it up a little bit. Probably shouldn't shake it up because it's sparkling water, but you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm going to open it, taste it, and get my review for it. So hold on a minute. Okay, I opened it and started bubbling. The color's clear because, you know, it's sparkling water. It's in a can instead of, like, a bottle. Normally, sparkling water is in a bottle. This has a caffeine, too, though. 
See you next Where we making some noise, that's for sure. But anyway, the smell. Ooh, something's like coming up by my nose. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Definitely very tropical smelling, very sweet smelling. Definitely very mango, very passion fruit. Um, it smells like that one. Um, um it smells a little bit like the yellow Red Bull, and the yellow Blue Mania energy drink. Which has also tasted like another drink I had recently. I forgot what it was though already. Um, yeah, it's definitely a very tropical scent. It smells a little bit like the um, New Island Mango Rockstar. So you know it's very tropical smelling. But anyway, now I'm going to try it. So here goes. And yeah, it's a tropical sparkling water basically. Sweet and um, a little tart and tangy, but um, I don't really like sparkling waters because um, I don't know, they don't really have that sugary carbonated flavor that I like normally. These are definitely like um, sparkling. It's a little carbonated, but um, I don't know. I just like normal like energy drinks better than like sparkling waters because sparkling waters. I don't know. There's something about them that I don't really like that much. Yeah, um, definitely tell it's like low in sugar and low in calories, you know, has a little bit of like a diet taste. But yeah, though, it's definitely a very strong tropical sparkling water flavor, so you know, I like the taste of it, but um, you know, I'm not too big a fan of like sparkling waters, you know what I mean? But it has a cool can design, it was okay price, it was around $2.00. And I got it at Circle K gas station. It was buy one, get one free. So, you know. So, basically a dollar a can. A dollar something, you know. But anyway, energy-wise, um, it has 125 milligrams caffeine. It doesn't have any B vitamins or anything. So, I'd say energy-wise, it lasts about um, two hours to about three hours of energy at the most. So, you know, it works okay. It could have been stronger energy-wise. You know, it's pretty good. Actually, I think it's one of my favorite sparkling waters that I've had. I've had some sparkling waters, you know, the kind in the bottles, you know. But, um, I didn't really like too much of them, you know. Um, but I like this, though, you know. And it's interesting because it's sparkling water in a can, too, so, you know. But yeah, it's pretty good, but, um, you know, it could have been better. But for a sparkling water, you know, it's, like, really good. It'll get you a little lit, too, so, you know. I would probably give the mango passion fruit your base sparkling water. Mm, it's actually pretty good. Uh, I'm just not too big a fan of sparkling waters, but it's still like pretty good for sparkling water. So you know I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, it's lit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Has a really good, very sweet tropical flavor. Definitely very mango and very passion fruit. Tastes a little bit like the yellow edition Red Bull, so you know. Um, definitely very tropical, so, you know, definitely try it. Energy-wise, it works okay. It's okay price, and it has a cool can design. You know, I'm just not too big a fan of sparkling waters, but for what it is, you know, it's actually pretty good. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Anyway, my next review is going to be another one of these. I'm your base sparkling water. Stay tuned for that review. Stay tuned for my upcoming reviews. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.